everyone. John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to Driving with John Chow. Uh, I'm right now, hey, let me show you here. Um, I'm on the highway. It's going 37 miles an hour because, uh, well, it's, I don't know, it's, uh, I, uh, it's the I-5 in California. That's why, that's probably why. I, I, I always suspect it might be a, there might be, you know, an accident, but it never is. It just, it just, Anyway, I'm on the carpool lane. I got autopilot engaged, and I'm just gonna let it drive me to where I want to, uh, where I want to go. <laughs> so I figure I'll kill two birds with one stone and do a driving episode. Uh, in this episode, I want to do a little follow up on uh, yesterday's video about relativity and affordability, and uh, you know uh, why I bought this car, and that that, that generated a, a, f a few comments. One of them being, well, you know, if 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 buying this car like so you know, uh, in a, uh, nothing to you, then why do you go out of your way to try to save money on buying it? Why don't you just pay retail? That was the question. <laughs> that was the question. And to answer that question, I'm gonna share with you the best piece of financial advice that I ever got. By far, the best, the best ever. And if you take this to heart, you will become financially independent and financially wealthy. And that piece of advice is, it's not what you make, is what you keep. It's not what you make, is what you keep. I learned that a long time ago, and if you look at, if you look at everything, because it uh, doesn't matter how much you make, you can be broke at any level. And in the affiliate marketing industry, I know a lot of affiliates who make a lot of money, and they spend everything. And they are like one month away from being on the street, so to speak, yeah, literally, literally. And so it doesn't matter if you make a million dollars a year, if you spend a million or more than a million, then you you effectively, what are you doing? What are you doing, right? Like, uh, I think there's this uh, kind of meme going around. It shows a guy uh, a million dollar uh, living in a million dollar house with a million dollar mortgage. And then it shows another guy living living in a hundred thousand dollar house with a million dollars in a bank, who's richer, right? So <laughs> that, that, that's the meaning, who's richer? And of course the answer is you can't really tell by looking at the more background, but that, but it, you get the idea of what that means. Basically, you gotta, you, you got to, you gotta keep most of what you make. Cause if you don't do that, then uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Like uh, you could be broke at any level. And uh, I wasn't, I'm not at all surprised. Like well, I live in Orange County where keeping up with the Joneses and sh flaunting your wealth is its kind of like a lifestyle here. They do it all the time. I might see that like in Miami, same thing. Uh, people in Miami, they make like 35 bucks a year, but they drive a hundred pound dollar, they drive a hundred pound dollar Lamborghinis and stuff like that, right? I mean, they, they call them $30,000 Mariner. That's your term for that. And actually there's a, there's supposed to be a reality show called Thirty thousand dollar millionaires. Uh, I don't know if it actually came out, but I saw a little preview for it, and it's basically it shows people living in Miami, who only make thirty thousand bucks a year, but you know they, they fend to cheap financing and cheap leasing. They live like they make a million bucks. Yeah, they live in, and even though they're totally broke, even though they're totally broke. Right? So it's not what you make; it's what you keep. And because of that rule, I will try to save money on anything I buy. I mean, that, that includes trying to, you know, refer myself as an affiliate, finding coupons uh, to save money and stuff. I, I will do that. I, I'm probably the cheapest millionaire you ever met. Well, actually, no, I, I know some cheaper millionaires. They're, they're just cheaper than me, but uh, yeah. And, and actually, you may think I'm an exception. The truth of the matter is I am the norm. If you truly look at the majority of millionaires out there, like the millionaire next door, you actually look at them, you will find out that most of them save money and save and try to and actually try to save money on stuff or try to find discounts on stuff they just don't go, they just don't go yeah give it to me no that that's not that's actually the broke man that's actually the thirty thousand dollar millionaire all right so uh, uh that there you go that, that that's my answer to that question uh what do you guys think i'd love to hear it leave your comment down below i welcome your feedback always i welcome your questions this is because it's uh it's my number one source of content, okay? So if you don't, you guys don't ask me any question, I got no content for you, all right? So please, give me your question, give me your feedback, all right? <laughs> Johnshow at johnshow.com. See you guys next time.